The following are six different methods of illumination used in slit lamp by microscopy that will bring out all the details and features of the anterior segment of the eye. Included are some patient examples demonstrating each illumination maneuver. First, diffuse illumination. This uses a broad light beam that provides a panoramic view, like using a flashlight. It is good for outlining large surface areas such as a corneal abrasion. Two, direct or focal illumination. This makes use of the hairline slit beam. The microscope and slit beam are directly in focus on the object being examined. This is particularly suited to depth localization and shows that this corneal abrasion is very superficial. Three, indirect proximal illumination. This maneuver highlights the object being evaluated at the side of the light beam, not directly where the light is focused, such as these KP or keratitic precipitates. Four, retroillumination produces two types of illumination. First, direct retroillumination, which reveals details in the reflected light, such as this small corneal foreign body rust ring. And secondly, indirect retroillumination, which reveals the details just off the path of the reflected light is shown by this Krukenberg pigment spindle on the corneal endothelium. Fifth, specular reflection. This reveals details that are seen when the reflected light is viewed at the same angle from the perpendicular as the angle of incidence of the slit beam light. This type of illumination is ideal for examining the corneal endothelium. Sixth and last, sclerotic scatter. This uses a light source that is decentered and defocused, that is no longer parfocal with a microscope. The slit beam is aimed at the limbus or the edge of the cornea, while the microscope is focused on the cornea. This maneuver is very useful in picking up fine abnormalities of the cornea, such as these corneal infiltrates. To perform sclerotic scatter, you must loosen the centering screw found at the back, lower portion of the slit lamp arm. Then the slit beam can be pivoted off its vertical axis to defocus the light from the microscope. Remember, you must tighten this knob at the completion of your sclerotic scatter examination or all subsequent exams will be out of focus. In summary, there are six types of slit lamp illumination that can make your biomicroscopy of the anterior segment more revealing and rewarding. Diffuse, focal, proximal, direct and indirect retroillumination, specular reflection, and finally sclerotic scatter. It is the fine adjustments of the angle of the lamp arm and the joystick that reveal the subtle details. Slit lamp biomicroscopy is a dynamic exam.